I think that it is crucial for the public to realize that we are not out of a drought. And events like this help remind people, but they also educate them in ways that they can conserve water and make an impact in their communities. A good way for, for folks to share ideas and, and advance uh, water conservation. Their uh, diversity in their, their presentations, I think, gives me a different insight other than just production agriculture. It's been very informative. We've um, had some uh, enlightenment as far as don't realize how much usage there really is per person. It means saving now so that we can have it for the future, whatever that brings. Take care of your leaks. My company has a team of people who go on to apartment or high density real estate, such as apartments, hotels, and we internally enter each unit, fixing inefficiencies, drips, leaks, and sometimes even replacing toilets with high efficiency ones. Work directly uh, with producers uh, to determine ways that, that maybe we can pump less water out of Oklahoma and at the same time at least maintain profitability if not enhance it. Our agency is responsible for developing a state water plan. We're actually about to adopt uh, our newest state water plan and it will show conservation strategies making up a significant amount of where we predict our new water will need to come from in the future. And we're hoping that we can take that to our students and you know just at least tell them about it. You can't go home with them and make sure they're doing it but at least you know give them an, some ideas about what to do. I'd say never stop learning. Read as much as you can. Talk to your neighbors about water or anything else. It is astounding to me how few people have ever attended a meeting at their local groundwater conservation district and even how few people know that there is a groundwater district. Yeah, you know, the easiest way to be engaged in water conservation is um, going to be looking for drips and leaks. So inside your own home, the example I used earlier is if you go to take a shower and you turn on your shower head, if water is still coming out of your, your water spout, that's a leak and that's an easy fix. And what's really interesting is anytime we've had problems at our school with our water, if it ever gets turned off, you know, everybody's automatically very thirsty, very, you know, I've got to go to the bathroom. Well, they can't do that because there's no water. So it's kind of a throwback and they need to really think about that. Because what, what if you don't have any water? I think agriculture will continue to be uh, a key part of our economy in the region. I think the, um, it will change as everything else does. You know, I, I think it's really important for people to realize that water conservation is our responsibility. It's not a decision to do it, it's a responsibility. We need to be good stewards of the land and of the water and we need to think about the future generations.